give an honor to the Spirit of Christ. Amen. Truly, it's good to be here tonight. Amen. I thank God for each and every one. Amen. Thank God for another day. Amen. Thank God for saving Amen. souls. Yeah. Yeah. All souls who are saved, they are changed. And I don't mean that you change yourself. Those who are truly born again, they are saved by God and his mercy. And they know for sure that they are not their own. Those who are truly born again know that we've been bought with a price. And thank God, Jesus came willingly and he paid the sin debt. And it, it has been paid in full. Man cannot add anything to it. And because of additions, the religious world is so messed up. One thing I know for sure, I've learned this. I haven't always known this, that God will remain the same. He says that I'm the same today, yesterday, and forever. I change not. Yet we see people change all the time. They're one day, one way today, and another way on tomorrow. But our God changes not. I praise him for taking care of each and every one. This is a dark world. And it is only a few that will be saved. And I wrote something down, what I, thank you Jesus, what I read on, I think the last Tuesday night I was here, and I just might read it again tonight, but I'm so grateful to God, it does not matter what no man says. Your life Prove who you are. Amen. Amen. Ministers, come in sheep clothing, but inwardly they are raving wolves, and they are out to catch the prey. They are out to get your soul. They love for you to be religious. They help you to be that way. But I'm so thankful. God knows us all. Few people will be saved. I want us to get that. Few people will be saved. We know that it's quite a number of people that remember here, they, they are not here tonight. But even in this, and I'm just speaking not concerning the visitors right now, I'm just speaking of us, this small congregation. 
I would be grateful to God if there would be 20. I praise God. Man is too in love with himself. He's so selfish. He's not bothered about nothing unless he thinks someone has done something to him. Then he's all up in the air. But God said, that's not my way. And those of you who live that way, you are not mine. I praise God. I'm glad that God has no respect of persons. And his spirit teaches me to have none. Amen. And it is no problem with me to have none. I'm thankful. I love Jesus. He is the one who went on the cross and died for me. And if I want to please someone, it is Jesus and my Father, Jehovah God. Him I want to please. I glory in the cross. Because of the cross, my sins are forgiven. And if you happen to be saved or say that you are saved, and you are not grateful when you can see one striving to get to the cross, and you be a hinder, you can know something is wrong with you. I thank God. I praise him. I honor God. This tongue of ours is going to cause us to us or some to meet everlasting death. And not just your talking. When you sit within yourself and you talk to yourself. God said, I hear every word. I'm just that wise. I'm just that knowledgeable. I'm just that powerful. That nothing escapes me, says the Lord. Again, it's good to be here. Amen. Praise God for taking care of us. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God for taking care of all the people. Yeah. It was a blessing just to walk back in the building yeah. one more time. Yeah. Thank, you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Are you glad those who say that you're safe? Are you glad about it? Yes. 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 I did not know that when the Spirit of the Lord, which I truly believe, moved on me to Hold the choir and then the audience. Yeah. And then in Lee County, the last time I was there, yeah. it happened again. Yeah. Did not even think about. Yeah. It never even entered my mind that what was going on with me, yeah. it is written in the Bible. Yeah. And I praise God. I'm so thankful. If 
when we do something, make a move. And we say that it is the Spirit of God. Let us make sure it is the Spirit of God. Not that you're trying to impress no man. But wanting to do something to glorify God. He is the one that is worthy. Let us turn our Bibles to Second Timothy, second chapter. like to read verse 19. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Thank you, Jesus. For thought tonight, I know those who are mine. That is so wonderful. God has said, I know those who are mine. And those of you who are mine. That name is the name of Christ. Let that man depart from iniquity. How can a person depart from iniquity and yet they are never wrong. How can you? If someone comes to you in the spirit of trying to help you and show you just how you are, Why fight? Amen. Amen. Sometimes we show who we are by the way we act, the way our attitudes be. But the Lord says this I know. And know what it is? He allows us to know I'm the one who matters. I know those who are mine. My people do not fight the right hill. My people are glad to receive correction. Thank you, Jesus. I was reading concerning George Knott. There's a whole lot of folks want to set judgment on others, but never see them saved. The person you are setting judgment on, maybe they have a moat in their eye. 
and you have a big log in yours. But you set judgment on the one that has the moat. And a moat is something you don't hardly see. Thank you, Jesus. I love, a lot of people love to quote that scripture where the Lord say, uh, us not to judge. He did not tell you not to try to help your brother. But what he told you, first get the beam out of your own eye. Before you go try and try to get one, or either I say a moat out of your brother's eye. You know, an individual can become so blind until they actually believe that the strict do not go for them. Now you know you're in darkness now. You're falling somewhere and I, in, in your falling, you are so lost. Thank you, Jesus. God still said, I know those who are mine. Amen. Amen. I'm glad that I cannot put myself in heaven and no one, I mean, search the world over, no one can put themselves in heaven. You can stop doing a lot of things. Amen. Amen. You know, a lot of folks think that they are saved because they dress a certain way. Amen. Amen. I remember I tell you, I was so bothered one time. I said, the Lord allowed me to say this. I said, you can wear, you can wear your dress down to the floor. Can't even see your shoes. You can wear your, your, your sleeves down to your hands, or even you can cover your hands. And you can stop doing every known sin that you ever done. But God has said, when I see the blood, I pass over you. I know those who are mine. Ain't God good to us? Now let us not, ladies, men too, let us not get happy, especially to the ladies. Amen. If you are saved, God himself, by his spirit, will teach you how to dress. And you won't just put on a long dress, because you can put on a long dress and still not be right with God. But I'm so grateful to God. Thank you, Jesus. Out of all our doing, young and old, God is still saying this, I know those who are mine. Amen. 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 I said, and there are different places to really believe that now. You can stop smoking your cigarettes. You can stop drinking liquor. You can stop doing any known sin that you ever done. That does not save a person. But now if you are saved, know what God would do if you are drunkard? He said, I by my spirit, I will. Thank you, Jesus. 
I will take the taste out of your mouth. Amen. Because I will not have my people drunk. Hallelujah. Killing up each other. Being in places and you don't even know you've been there. Well, I don't get that drunk. Well, God, he said this. I don't want you drink, drinking because it caused your eyes to be red. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's in the word. Yes. Written in the eye. Yes. But in, all, in it all, God says, I know those who are mine. Now, you know he had said something here in 2 Timothy when he said, nevertheless. Thank you, Jesus. And we're going to look at the nevertheless. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We want to... Um, Begin reading at verse 17. And their word will eat as, do as doth a canker, of whom Hymenaeus and Philetus. Those two men, yes. they were false teachers. Yes. One, the Apostle Paul had to turn over to the devil. But when just reading this, I thought about just how evil it is now and just how false teachers has taken over the world. But the sad part about it, men love it to be so. But they were false teachers, and it caused some to error. Amen. I'm glad God does not change. And that's why he said, read, read on, read on. Verse 18. Mm -hmm. Who concerning the truth have error, mm -hmm. saying that the resurrection is past already, uh -huh. and overthrow the faith of some. And overthrow the faith of some. In our day and time, it's dog people. Man thinks that he is saved because he goes to church and he's been baptized in water and he's dutiful going to church and whatever his duties might be in the church because he performed those things they think that this is salvation. But God said, no, sir. Repentance must come forward. And repentance, brother William Wright, it brings forth a change. Amen. Amen. And this change is not you changing yourself. This change is when God changed you. When you, when you repent of your sin and allow God to come into your life, but you first need to admit, God I already know you're a sinner. But admit that you are a sinner. Lost and need salvation. And if you are not producing, amen, the fruit in which God accepts, something is wrong in your life. Amen. Do you praise God? Are you thankful? Read on. Nevertheless, nevertheless, 
Uh -huh. The foundation of God standeth sure. No matter who come, what they say, how many false preachers, how right. many people think because they build big buildings mm -hmm. and, and you got a 10,000 or 50,000 people, God said nevertheless. Oh, that's what he said. Yes. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standing sure. Yes. And I know, says the Lord, yes. those who are mine. Yes. Do you praise him? Yes. Yes, Lord. The church world is filled. I mean, it's filled with false prophets. Yes. Amen. Who is able now to live a godly life and turn those ones that causing people to err, turn them over to Satan. Amen. Stop them. I praise him. I praise him. Thank God. God is good, saints. Yes, is. People, God is good. Yes. Yes. Nevertheless, the mm -hmm. foundation of God standeth sure. sure. Mm -hmm. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ Depart from iniquity. See, in our mind, we think certain sins. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, I said this. I, I wonder what will people do when they stand before God and find out. Because you that, that's the day we can all find out. And find out that you've been in such a defense that nobody can even talk to you. Yes. And you find out that they were right and you were wrong. Yes. Didn't even recognize the love of God. Yes. You thought the love of God saying something to please your flesh. Yes. That's no help to your soul. Yes. No help. Not praise God. Yes. But do you know that's what man wants? That man that have Jesus in his mouth, but do not have him in, in the soul. Do you praise him? Yes, Lord. Are you thankful? Yes. Matthew chapter 22. I'm telling you, Brother Donna, he always talk about it. He bring up his, I, I'm going to say his great blessing. Yeah. When he was invited yeah. to the Bible study. Yeah. And it would not be so great if he Never change. Amen. But now I can see that he has changed. So his invitation is the reason. 
that he's saved. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And I said, I, I tell you, a few years back, I couldn't say this. Yeah. And guess what? I didn't say it. But I praise God that he has changed. Amen. Amen. But I was looking at the scripture here in St. Matthew 22. Amen. And we just want to read this so that you'll be able to get the connection real good, hopefully. Verse 2, 22, Matthew 22, and verse 2. The kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king which made a marriage for his son. Mm -hmm. And sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden to the wedding. And they would not come. And they would not come. Aren't you glad you came, Brother Don? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh-huh. Read on. Again, again, he sent forth other servants, saying, Tell them which are bidden, Behold, I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and my fatness are killed, and all things are ready. Come unto the marriage. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so glad. One day I came. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Read on. Verse 5. But they made light of it and went their ways, one to his farm, another to his merchandise. And I'm telling you, people just like that now. They do not want the truth of God. No matter how the Lord plead with souls, I have a better place for you. I'm telling you, I'm having a wedding that you would not want to miss. Thank you, Jesus. Read on. Verse 6. And the remnant took his servants and entreated them spitefully. And slew them. Mm -hmm. But when the king heard thereof, he was wroth. And he sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burned up their city. Mm -hmm. doing? Then said he to his servants, The wedding is ready. But they which were bidden were not worthy. But they which were bidden. I'm telling you, some folks have been. Invited to come. Yes. And so many did come. But they were nothing but trouble. It says that they were not what worthy. And we know that none of us is worthy. But they did not want it. They would not come to the wedding and eat so they could be changed. Thank you, Jesus. But what did he say? Verse 9. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. I want you to tell them to come to the wedding. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> it's good to be invited to a wedding. And I'm not talking about these earthly weddings now. Because most of the wedding that I know about, they don't, they don't be no good. I said, lady, what in the world are you talking about? 
I'm talking about man and how he is. Talking about myself if I'm not right. Thank you, Jesus. But he says what now? Go ye therefore into the highways, mm -hmm. and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. Bid to the marriage. Thank you, Jesus. Tell them to come. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Good things. Amen. I mean, real good things. What's going on at this marriage? Because pretty soon, the one that prepared the wedding, the marriage, after a while, they are going to come in. Yeah. Do you praise him? Yeah. Are you thankful? Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Read on. Verse 10. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good. And the wedding was furnished with guests. And the wedding yeah. was furnished. Lord Jesus yes, yes. with the guest. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Everything is ready. Yes. The guests are there. One more great thing must happen. Yes. The king yes. which represents yes. Jesus. Yes. The king going to come in. Yes. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. What does it say? Verse 11. And when the king came in to see the guest, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. Amen. Amen. Do not know how many guests were there. But they all had on their wedding garment. But when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding Garment. Now, all the other guests was dressed. Undoubtedly, they did not see that man. That 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 their garment was so much alike until the other guests did not know the difference. But when the king came in. He saw the man. God said, now, you cannot slip by me. You cannot pretend your garment may, on the outside may look even better than some of the real guests that are mine. But since I am the king, King Jesus, I know those who are mine. And you do not have on your wedding garment. Thank you, Jesus. It's going to be some shock folks. We need to get it, don't we? People come to Bible study, they go to, to church or what have you, but do not have on that wedding garment. And for sure, the king knows. But because the king is Jesus. Now we can accept what people say, oh, you so nice, you so this, you so that. 
eat it if you want to. God said, I know. I know those who are mine. Thank you, Jesus. And when the king, king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. What did he say to him? And he saith unto him, friend, how camest thou in hither not having a wedding garment? Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And he was speechless. He was speechless because he thought. He thought. He had on the right garment. He thought. Amen. That he was one of the king's real guests. But he was speechless. Amen. It's so much in this, I'm just reading. I'm not even going into one strip here. But my friend, we are going to wish we had listened. Listen to the word of God. Never try to take the scripture and wretch the scripture to make it say what you want it to say. Thank you, Jesus. Standing on dangerous ground then. Do you praise God? Are you thankful? I praise him. Thank you, Jesus. Listen. Not everyone professing Christ is genuinely saved. Even the outward verbal acknowledgement. You know, people say, well, when, when you go up and, you know, you acknowledge your sin, you know, you say it with your mouth. And even, maybe they say it, they might even say believe in your heart or whatever. But the, even the outward verbal acknowledgement of his lordship is in itself not enough to save the unbeliever apart from truth, repentance, and faith. Amen. We can make our and write our own Bible if we want to. But believe the truth. Believe what thus says God. Amen. I tell you, this man, he was speechless. He did not know what to say because he thought. He was right. He thought he was saved. We can get so, so far in darkness until we think we're right. Now we don't even know how to talk to nobody. I'm telling you people. Thank you, Jesus. What did he say to me? Verse 13. Then said the king to the servants, bind him hand and foot, and take him away, and cast him into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Amen. Do you praise God? Are you thankful? Yes. A truly saved person is one that doeth the will of the Father a truly saved person. In the Greek present tense suggesting that he is continually living in obedience to the will of God 
as the normal course of life. Didn't I say you might get wrong? But in the normal course of life, your will is to do God's will. Amen. Amen. And not talk yourself into a deep black hole in which you can never get out by yourself. You will have to listen to someone if God's in them. Or you must listen to God, Jehovah. Thank you, Jesus. Our glory. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 25. talking about the 10 version, but we're not going to nearly read all that. But we are going to we'll begin reading at verse 10. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. And they, they that buy were... something that they should have already had. Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. Read it. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. And they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. And the door was shut. I do not allow the door to be shut on you. That's why I teach the way I do. I do not want your blood on my hands. I don't want no man blood on my hand. I tell you, I, I thank God for my teacher. Yeah. Amen. I'm talking about besides the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Thank God for my teacher. Yeah. And I'm not ashamed to own him. Yeah. Dr. Oliver B. Yeah. Green. Yeah. Amen. I tell you, he don't bite his tongue. Thank you, Jesus. He said, bring that dead bird in the house of God. Now that he's dead. But when he was alive, he didn't even want to go. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm telling you, <laughs> I thought I was tough. Yes. But when I listen to him, yes. I say I'm not, I'm not that bold. Yes. Mm -mm. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I said people try to try to make people right after they they are dead. That's right. That's right. We've lost one of our good citizen, good churchgoer, good husband. He, he was at a funeral one time, and Lord have mercy. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. And the preacher was up there preaching the, the man's funeral and saying all these good things, all these good things about him. But the wife sitting there, she knew it was not true. Yeah. So as he kept on preaching and talking about how good he was, the mother said to her oldest son, said, Junior, Junior, you go up there and see if that's your dad in that, in that casket. Yeah. <laughs> go up there and see if that's him. Because I know she said, that's not the man I live with. Telling you, he said these people be 
live such a evil life. He said they more, more uh, low down than a snake belly crawling in a wagon train. Yeah. And that's down below the dirt. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God, he, he declare. I know those who are mine. Where were we? Uh-huh. Verse 11, afterward came also the other virgins saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. Now they are seeking. Seeking, but it's too late. Too late. That's right. Seeking. But we need to just look at our lives and see where we, are st see where we stand. Uh-huh. Verse 12, but he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. I do not know you. That's right. Who are you? Why are you knocking now? I don't know who you are. You didn't live for me. You was a troublemaker. You was a backstabber. You was a murderer. Yes. You were all the things that I said for my people not to be. Yes. Amen. Yes. All those things. Yes. I tell you, I, I, I am so <coughs> sorry for the people in whom God was able to reach out to. But they pulled the hand back. Say, I know, Sister Angie, I know what's best for me. That's what she thought. But one day God opened her eyes. Find out yes. what have I done? Yes. What have I been living? Who, it, who have I been living for? Yes. She found out it was herself yes. and not God. Yes. But I thank God yes. again yes. for mercy. Yes. Amen. Yes. For mercy. God has said, I know you not. I don't know who you are. But I know mine. I know mine because they, they act like me. They follow in my footsteps. And even when the Apostle Paul came along, he said to the people, he said, follow me as I follow Christ. No, the one God said, mm -mm. people done got so black and they're in so much darkness, they have no respect. They think they have respect for God, but they have no respect for, for God, and neither do they have respect for God's servants. They say things. They run their mouth. So many times we bury our own selves with our own mouth. But God, he, get, he gives people a chance. But he answered and said, Truly, I say unto you, I know you not. Amen. Someone might say, well, this is a parable. Mm -hmm. But a parable when Jesus speaks, it just 
as close to the truth as truth itself. Yes. When Jesus speaking, yes. do you praise him? Yes. I thank the Lord. Oh, I thank God. Truly God is good to us. I know it was one of the most scripture I wanted to read. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. It is such a good thing to have the word of God. St. John, chapter 10. Begin reading at verse 7. Seven. Then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Truly, truly, I say unto you, mm -hmm. I am the door of the sheep. I am the door of the sheep. Yeah. Now, if Jesus is the door yes. Thank you. of the sheep, And we know that Jesus knows all things. And he knows the one who is saving. He knows the one who is lost. But we're just going to allow the scripture to talk to us. Verse 8. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers. But the sheep did not hear them. Mm -hmm. I am the door. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. And shall go in and out and find pasture. I am the door. Yes. Now, if Jesus is the door, don't you know when, if someone else tries to come in, which is all in this chapter, don't you know he will know that? He said, I know those who are mine. I know those who are mine. Are mine. I'm glad about that. Yeah. I am glad that I don't have to listen to man defend himself. Yeah. Defend his life. Something you've already lived, but yet you're trying to defend it. I tell you, that when the Lord was talking to those servants, he said, go out and find the good and the bad. Because, see, some folks think they're good. But I know you're not good. Amen. There's none good. No, not a one. We've all sinned. Came short of the glory of God. Amen. Now, mind you now, people love to use that scripture because they want to do evil. After you were born again, amen, all the ones who give their life to Jesus, God gives to them his spirit. If it were not for that, I'm telling you, you would say, who then can be saved? But God knows that, he knows when a person, I said, in the right position so he can talk to them, so he can give to them eternal life. Sometimes you have to, God have to stand back and let certain things happen to you. And then, and only then, will a person, I say, desire to be saved, but 
Nevertheless, one must be in the right position with God. Meaning this person can be broken. Because people think you just be broke, broken one time and that's it. Brokenness is a way of life. I'm just so thankful who God is. Amen. Amen. Do you love him? Yes. I do. Yes. Read on, sister. What verse, verse 10. Mm -hmm. The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Mm -hmm. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Amen. Yes. And that's so true. Yes. yes. Read on. I am the good shepherd. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. Isn't that the truth? Amen. 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 Uh-huh. Verse 12. But he that is a howling and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming, and leaveth the sheep, and fleeth. And the wolf catches them, and scattereth the sheep. Amen. Amen. Nevertheless. Yes. The foundation of God standeth sure. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. And God has said, and I know no. those who are mine. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Let us never try to make our own way. Yes. Stop defending your life. Yes, that's right. And allow God to do whatever is needed in yes. your life. Yes. Thank Amen. You, Amen. So Thank that you, you can be born again. Because yes. the scripture said, here, I know my sheep. Amen. That's right. And not only that, my sheep know me. That's right. They will not follow, not follow. a stranger. Amen. 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 Praise Isn't Lord. that something? Yes, it is. See, I know my sheep. Yes. But my sheep know me. My sheep know me. They will not follow a stranger. But sometimes the like people don't see nothing. I'm telling you. But I'm praising God for who he, he is. And I'm, I'm going to um, leave this and I'm going to go to St. Matthew. Chapter 7. But before we go to uh, St. Matthew chapter 7, uh, let us go to the book of Nahum, N-A-H-U-M. Amen. The book of Nahum. Okay, chapter 1. Chapter 1 and verse, we'll re read verse 6, but verse 7 is our main scripture. Mm -hmm. Who can stand before his indignation? Mm -hmm. And who can abide in the fierceness of his anger? His fury is poured out like fire, and the rocks are thrown down by him. Isn't that something? Yes, yes, Lord. Lord. yes Lord. Oh, yes. yes Lord. Uh huh. Verse 7. Verse 7, our main verse here. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. He said, I know them. I know mm -hmm. who trust in me. Yes. yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now we are going to St. Matthew chapter 7. Matthew 
Matthew chapter 7 and verse 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Mm -hmm. Verse 22. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? Yes, Lord. You know what? And people... So many people have done just this. That's right. Mm -hmm. To the letter. Yes. But listen what Jesus himself going to tell them. Mm -hmm. Verse 23. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. I never, when you was doing all whatever you were doing, giving your money, building big buildings, doing things to be looked up to. God said, when you was doing all what you was doing, I didn't know you. In fact, I never knew you. Depart from me, you that were iniquity. What a day. What a day that's going to be. When the Lord himself, after you've you, uh, done everything, pushed everybody away, that'd be trying to help you. When you told the truth of the word of God, that God said, let us depart from iniquity. No, I want my own life. I want to please my own flesh. So God, you, you go on about your business. Oh, people, maybe they never, maybe they would not say that. But you don't have to say it. Your actions say it. That's more than your mouth speak. Amen. But he said, and then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you that work iniquity. What scorching words and a shock they will be just to hear those words. But what we need to do now in this day, allow our own sins to shock us to repentance. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I do praise God for the word of God. So thankful for all of you. May God bless you and may God keep you. That's my prayer, Brother Derek.